I asked him, how does sound get into or, or touch your brain? Take us on that journey. It's just waves of vibrating air. Um, it's just your voice. Touch at a, at a distance. Beginning your voice box compresses air, and that air travels through space and time. Into my ear. A little tunnel. Waves of diffuse vibrating air focused and channeled into my eardrum, which vibrates a few very small bones. And the little bones transmit the vibration into this salty sea where the hairs are. And the hair cells are fascinating. The hair cells become active when they are literally bent by a wave. They bend like trees in a breeze. And when these hair cells bend, charged molecules flood inwards and activate the cell. So the sound triggers the bones, the bones disturbs the fluid, the fluid rocks the hairs. Yes. And then the hairs set off essentially electricity? Yes. Huh. That's the language of neurons. All those changes from waves to bones to electricity, all those things were a trip on their way to being heard. It's only when the electricity finally forms a pattern in your brain, only when it's deep inside, that's when you hear something. It feels to me more like touch. Sound is kind of touch at a, at a distance. 